Okay, and welcome to Celebrating Descent Blasphemous Women. So if you come in, we've got the artwork from CEMB. This is the Surah of the Donkey, which is a fight back against the Quran um, in terms of how it subjugates women, tells them what to do. This one is, well, if a woman's hair bothers you, a donkey's mask has been created just for you. Um, and here's lots of selected protests that we've done. Um, a lot of the art stuff, and this is uh, smoking and drinking outside of the Iranian embassy during Ramadan as a protest. This is work I did with Mariam for Women Life Freedom, and just doing a protest in the middle of Trafalgar Square. We've done quite a few of those, which is lovely. We have some more. It's on the other side. We had to do this for um, ease of ease of looking. And this is her as Mohammed, and I just love this one so much. This is a world first for uh, ex-Muslims. So this was the uh, world body art first for ex-Muslims and because it was too political, sadly, Guinness World Records won't take it by default. Okay, here's some more selected works here. This one was fantastic, it went down really well. And then just a little thing for Islam's non-believers. This is when we first did Pride and we were accosted by the police um, after the East London Mosque uh, did a complaint against us. This is some of our work here. Migration is not a crime. Also picnicking during Ramadan. And this is now the Imams of Perpetual Indulgence Pride. This was brilliant. So it was based off the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. This was the first topless activism I did with Mariam, which was for the International Day to Free Amina, and I'm ripping off a burqa with Free Amina, Fuck Your Morals, and uh, Mariam stopping a stoning. And then my other friend here is, uh, has the prison bars of the body in Amina being freed. And this is a nude protest calendar, which is one of my favorites. Like, it's amazing. I think it's brilliant. I love the fact that they're just working with their bodies to do whatever they like and promote the causes that they care about, and it's not anything that's pornified, it's just women being in their natural state, which is lovely. And this was the <laughs> the origami pussies I did, so this is Koranigami, or Kokantigami. So, this is, um, they were created by the, uh, out of passages of the Quran, and ones that are the most detrimental to women. We called it the Puranic verses. So this is some more stuff, the first time we went to Pride, some protest art, and this is And Still I Rise after Shadi Abdul, uh, after the attacks. And this one of the pieces have been sold now, but this is Haram Doodles. And she very bravely showed her face at the conference today, which is more power to her. So many people are scared. This is Jenny Venema's work, and she's brilliant. She's done these beautiful trays where she paints and then puts the print on trays. Like, amazing <laughs> political portraits. This is my favorite, the Quran is a vagina. Brilliant. I have a real soft spot for her work. I think it's so beautiful and evocative. And this is Mariam. Such a strong portrait of her. Love it. And this is just her little portfolio and uh, bio and so on. And then we move on to Betty Lachka. And this is some of her protest pictures. I think there was a massive outcry because they were kissing in public. Enormous one, actually. And there are cards. Blasphemy is not a crime. And this is the Macabre Dictionary of Virginity Testing. And it's a um, book which she created. So, about learning about the vagina and also learning about essentially virginity testing and how backwards the practice is. Then we have an interloper artwork with um, the turbans that we did a flying turban protest with. Uh, so if you know anything about what's happening in Iran, they are throwing the turbans off the mullahs. So they are, like the youth are um, smacking them off because they just no longer respect the um, yeah they no longer 
no longer respect the imams because they just want to be free. And can you blame them? And then this is, now is the whiteboard of your own descent. Write and draw what true descent means to you. So I think this is quite beautiful, a life without hate, refusal to bow down, descent Mubarak. And I think this is really nice because it means that people can make their own mark and leave the exhibition thinking about, you know, what descent means to them, how they can, you know, maybe get some more descent into their lives and what's actually precious to them. And now we're going over to the comments. And then we end with the ex-Muslim because and Jenny Venema. I think these are just beautiful postcards, really. So that is the exhibition. And it's been, um, yeah, really successful. And I hope you enjoyed it. And now on to the next one.